Welcome to Montreal. Uh, what can I say about Montreal? It's a place where the English and French collide. A place where Quebec is put in the spotlight, but Canada is actually left hanging. Literally. A place where churches, basilicas, cathedrals, and chapels fill the streets. Weird laws feel almost normal, and art is everywhere. Where innovation thrives, and failures as well. A place with lots of beautiful green parks, and home to the oldest bank in Canada. Point à Calier on De La Commune Street is actually the founding place of Montreal. Montreal came to be in 1642 under the name Ville-Marie, founded by Paul Chamédier de Maisonneuve and Jeanne Lance. Nearly 10 years after its founding, the little colony's population was only at around 50 people. In 1643, the founder prayed to the Virgin Mary to stop the floods threatening the city, and when they did, he planted a cross on the Mount Royal overlooking the fortress and its church. The Basilica of Notre Dame is in the center of what used to be the fortress of Ville Marie. Here in Place d'Arme, a memorial for Maisonneuve was built. Lambert Clos. Him and his dog Pilote were important in the early years of Ville Marie. Le Moine. A French fur trader that was on good terms with the indigenous people of Canada. An Iroquois. The largest group of indigenous people in Montreal and the biggest enemies of the first French settlers. Jeanne Mans. Credited as co founder of Ville Marie, she helped found the first churches and hospitals in the city. And of course, Maisonneuve. This is Lambert Close. Uh, whoops. This is Lambert Close. You see, Pilote came along her master, who had been appointed sergeant major of the Ville Marie garrison by Maisonneuve himself, and even the governor in his absence. Lambert Close, and especially Pilote, allowed the tiny population of settlers to survive the countless attacks of the Iroquois with great courage, leadership, and an interesting tactic. The Iroquois were known for being sneaky, hiding behind trees in the dark and waiting for wanderers to get out of the French walls to take them out. At first, Pilote and her pups ran back to the garrison, barking, when they found them hiding to warn the French. But Close got a better idea. He had the dogs chase them out of their hiding spot and waited with a group of loaded muskets. Sadly enough, Pilote and her master were reported dead in 1662 against a band of Iroquois. Because of their story, Montreal now has a history. 